Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. Rooting is kind of a complex process for all phones and it requires you to unlock bootloader and flash the super user file which can be a bit difficult at times for people who are just starting out. But for the Moto G5 Plus, there has been a toolkit that lets you root your phone in just one or two clicks. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can do that and this toolkit will also let you do some extra stuff like make backups or install TWRP recovery. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with the video. So if you guys did notice, I didn't make a video for the past whole week and most of it was because I was having my final exams. But now they're over, I'll try to make as many as I can and you might have also noticed that I made some changes to the banner and some animations as well. So yeah, let's get started again and if you have any suggestions for videos or anything else for the channel, let me know in the comment section below and we'll start with the process itself. So the first and most important thing that you'll require for this process is the Moto G5 toolkit. Because this is based upon Electron, it will work for Windows, Linux and Mac. I will only show you how you can do it for Windows. So I'll select the first one and you'll have to download it. I've already downloaded it, so I will skip that. And here is the downloaded file. So now all you have to do to install this toolkit would be to extract it here. So I've extracted the file and this is how the contents of the file would look like. You will have an executable file that you can run. You can just try testing it before we install the drivers. You will also have to install the Motorola drivers that are available on the Motorola website. I will leave a link to that also in the description box below. The installation of those drivers is very simple. All you have to do is click on next, next, next and it will be installed. So after you have done everything, you'll have to run this Moto G5 Plus toolkit. So as you can see that I've not connected my mobile yet. It shows me no device is connected. So before you can connect your mobile to your computer via a USB cable, you'll have to make some changes in the developer options as well on your mobile itself. I will quickly show you what you'll have to do. First of all, go to your about phone and tap on the build version seven times. This will enable developer options and then you can open developer options. And inside that you'll have an option for USB debugging. You will have to enable the USB debugging option and then you will also have to enable OEM unlocking. After you tap on the OEM unlocking button, it will ask you the password for your phone and then you're mostly done. Now just connect your mobile to your computer directly via a USB cable. So as soon as I connected my mobile, it shows me that the device is connected and it shows green here. That means the device is connected properly. So while routing the phone, all the data on your phone will be completely erased. So if you want, you can create a backup. So to create a backup, you can scroll down and there will be an option to create a backup. We'll be using ADB to create a backup because we don't have recovery yet. You can select create backup, select where you want the backup to be saved. I've already saved this backup as backup.adb. And when you click on save, you'll get a pop-up on your screen on your mobile and it will ask you if you want to create a backup or not. And it will take around five to 10 minutes and it will create the backup of all your applications. This will only back up the applications and the app data that you have stored. It will not back up anything that is on your internal SD card. So if you have any songs on your internal SD card or something like that, you will have to back them up separately or you can just copy all the data that is on your internal SD card and store it somewhere on your computer. So now you know how to create the backup. We'll quickly go ahead and unlock the bootloader on the device first and then we'll actually root the device. So to unlock the bootloader of your device, you'll have to click on get unlocked data. If you have connected your phone like me via ADB and you have not booted into fast boot mode, this will automatically do that for you and you don't have to worry about it. You'll just have to click on extract unlock data and your phone will automatically boot into fast boot mode and then you can extract the unlock data from your device. After you've extracted the unlock data string from your device by just clicking on the button above, you'll have to copy this by clicking on this button and then go to the official Motorola website by tapping on this link and it will take you to the website where you can get the unlock data. You can sign in with your Motorola account or you can also use your Google account to sign in. So when you're on the official website, you can read all this if you want to and then click on next. When you reach the second page, you'll have to scroll down a bit there you will have an option to enter your unlock data and you can paste the unlock data that we got from the tool right here. When you click on can my device be unlocked, it will enable this get your unlock key panel and here you can read all this and click on agree and request unlock key. It will show you that it will void your warranty and yes, routing your phone will void your warranty and it will also remove all the data that you have. 
so as soon as you request the unlock key your warranty will be void and during the process you will also lose your data so make sure you back up your data and the warranty will be void in the process as well so it will ask are you sure so i'll click on okay so when you'll open your email id you'll get an unlock code from motorola so to unlock your bootloader you'll have to enter the key that you've copied that was sent by motorola to your email id you'll have to paste it here and then click on unlock after you've unlocked the bootloader on your device by using the unlock key your device will be connected in fast boot mode don't disconnect your device yet will flash the super user and it will root your phone now the last step to get root access on your phone will be to flash the super user file and for that all you need to do is tap on this button when you tap on this once it will first open up your phone in recovery mode then it will flash the super user zip file and then it will automatically reboot your phone after you are done if it doesn't automatically reboot you can reboot it manually and it's not a problem and after your phone reboots you will have a super user application and you can cross check it by installing some other application from the play store for checking root access as well your phone will be rooted and you can use all the rooted applications that you want so that was kind of it for this video guys if you have any further questions with the process you can leave them down in the comment section below and if you were successful in rooting your phone then make sure you subscribe to this channel because i will be creating a lot more stuff for the moto g5 plus and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel